What's up everyone, it's Zavi Donbedian, owner of Organic Health Movement, making a quick video for you today on stress reduction, bringing energy into the body and stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system. So as a general cue to the way that I work out and I live my life, I try to balance the amount of time that I spend secreting catabolic stress hormones in the body, those being tissue destructive, with anabolic hormone stimulation, which is created through work in exercises. Um, that could be Tai Chi, Qi Gong, Hatha Yoga, not so much the fast flowing Vinyasa Yoga. And we want to balance the stress in the body because our overall physiological load correlates to all the different systems in the body. That's the organ and glandular system, the respiratory system, the limbic emotional system. It goes on and on. And we really want to find a place in our lives where as much as we are stimulated, we are brought down to stillness. So we must balance the stillness and the stimulation in our life in order to achieve homeostasis or perfect health. When our body is in homeostasis, we get to operate from a position of optimal posture, a position of optimal balance within our organ and glandular system, a position of optimal hormone secretion. And what I'd like to talk to you today about is a little bit about what happens in the exercise community when we let our egos drive us as opposed to the soul. The soul is interested in expansion and growth through movement, whereas the ego is interested in aesthetics through movement. Most people overwork themselves in the gym and spend too much time at the gym because they're trying to create a body that they feel confident in. Rather than approaching the gym as a place to grow spiritually and emotionally from a place of confidence and well-being, which means that we must do the emotional work through meditation, tai chi, yoga, qi gong, these methods of parasympathetic nervous system stimulation to help us rest and digest, bring our nervous systems back to a place of stillness so that the things that are stimulating our action can be resolved, looked at, and we can find a place of introspection in our lives in order to feel more confident, more whole, and more well about the way that we approach our activities of daily living. That means if you're going to the gym because you feel inside that your body is disgusting, unworthy of your love, and you feel like you need to change it in order to feel self-loving, then you are going to secrete more stress in your emotional system, in your physical system, than is actually productive towards your goal. That means that you need to work on loving the one who feels like they are going to the gym because they need to change their body. And in doing so, you actually create well-being, a wholesome approach to your uh, exercise regimen as a way of saying, I am whole and I am well as I am. I don't need to change the way my body looks, but I can go to the gym to discover the many interesting, authentic ways in which my body moves. Now to break it down in a simple step, I'd like you to one, make sure that you're hydrated at all times, drink alkaline, preferably mineral enriched water. Number two, I'd also like you to take time to do Tai Chi, maybe some yoga, something that brings yourself into stillness at least once a day for about 30 minutes. And number three, I want you to make sure that the amount of time that you're spending in the gym is balanced with the amount of time that you're taking for yourself. So whether that's a massage, whether that's a float, whether or not that's some sort of therapy that is uh, relaxing and brings you to a place of breath, it doesn't matter, but I just want you to balance your time in the gym with doing things that are good and restorative for the body. That's a little message from Organic Health Movement. I hope you enjoyed the video, and from here on forward, I hope to be making more of these for you. Namaste. Dude.